Hello guys and welcome to my unboxing and installation video guide for the Anycubic Cobra Plus. So let's go! Hello guys, today we are going to be unboxing the Anycubic Cobra Plus, a 3D printer. So I actually ordered this printer on Lazada and I will be leaving a link below if you guys are interested. And let's go. It's cutting time. All right guys, so here we have the first look on what's inside. And I'm not sure if I actually opened it the right way, but I think it's all right. The important thing is that it's open. Okay guys, here we have the first part. It's the glass bed or the glass sheet. It's where we place our prints. The next part we are getting is the X and Y axis motors along with the frame. And finally, we get the heat bed, the last major component of the 3D printer. So it's time to unbox the item and unload it carefully. We don't want to drop it or anything. And here is our first look of all the major parts and tools we need to assemble our 3D printer. Okay, so the first step in assembling the 3D printer is to install and secure the frame on top of the heat bed. Now we do this by attaching it on the sides to the guide rails and then securing it with some nuts and bolts. Now it's time to attach the bolts to the correct part of the printer. Be sure to tighten them up but not too tight because tight is bad man. Here you can see a closed up view and remember to turn it to the right because right is tight. We're almost done with the frame and bam! It's time to unwrap the plastic sheet. Okay, so it, now it's time to install the glass bed onto the heat bed so we do this by getting the clips here are the clips and then installing it on one of each side so there are six clips in total and you will see it here so here are the clips one two three four five and then six so after we install the lcd screen it's pretty easy to install the screen actually like you just place it on then screw it in and we are done okay the next part is to install the spool holder so you put it on the side of the guide rails like this clip clap let down bam and we're done Okay, so now that we're done with assembling all the parts that needed to be assembled and tightened, we'll lift the extruder up and do our first check of the machine. So here we're moving it left, then pushing it to the right. Yes, everything is looking good and fine. And finally, we pull the bed in closer and I notice that it isn't leveled. So we tighten it up, we tighten it up under. And here you can see me for quite some time adjusting and tinkering until I think it's perfect. So you better make sure that you do this part right because I only want to do it once. And once you get it all done and once it's perfect, you clean the bed up, put it back and then it's time to start it up. So here is Mr. Anycubic, all ready, all wired up to the plug, and we're ready to go. Ooh. Ooh. Can you hear 
that sound guys the first wonderful sound of it turning on beautiful 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 and now it's time to prepare oops wrong button prepare leveling auto leveling and then yes let's go okay so here we have the printer auto leveling now auto leveling is a wonderful function created in 2023 so if you're gonna buy a printer i suggest you purchase one that has auto leveling because leveling is really hard and you wouldn't want to manually do it yourself when there is automatic and now for the next part is we insert this spool we got from anycubic so we press filament in and wait for it to reach the correct temperature so you can see it increasing there and once it reaches the right temperature we cut it so you can't see me cutting it here but i got these pliers from any cubic and be sure to cut it and once you cut it you insert it into the extruder once it is hot enough the correct temperature for putting PLA in is around 215 degrees Celsius. And we continue putting it in. And once we're done here, you can see the first sign of life. Now it's time to test it by placing this SD card in. Tikiri Takiri Tak. And then we go and press print algae code okay so you get this free owl g code from any cubic and it's like a test you know the dry run test if your printer is working right and today i'll be showing you my first out of the box print easy assembly nice and smooth so here it is the first print after an hour we're up to the middle and part and it's really cool guys like there's a light i can turn on so you guys can see much better on how the print is doing and there it is after two hours and 39 minutes here we have our first official print i think it looks good it looks cute mr owly looks cool and cute but there's some string but we can fix that Okay, here we have Mr. Alley guys, and now it's time to scrape him off. Okay, so the scraper is not working, so I'll use my hand. Okay, it's kind of tight. Tighter than I expected. Okay, I'll use my strong hand. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, there it is. Okay, here we have Alley guys. Mr. Alley is looking cool and cute. And for out-of-the-box printing, I'd give it a 9 over 10. Thank you guys for joining me today for the unboxing of the Anycubic Cobra Plus. It was an exciting experience to explore this amazing 3D printer and all of its features. I hope you all enjoyed that and please, if you did, please click like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Hello guys, how do you like Mr. Aole? If you are still watching this, I am the magical owl called Aole. Aole, Aole, Aole. Now get up man and print your own owl.